a forklift can carry very heavy loads, so its components are frequently stressed. A small issue can cause big problems. Forklifts must be inspected each day, prior to operation. If your company works in shifts, the forklift must be inspected prior to use on each shift. Your operator's manual will list the required inspection items. You should use a checklist, so that you don't miss important areas. The inspection consists of two parts. First, a pre-operation inspection must be made, to verify there are no broken, or damaged components. After this walk-around inspection is completed, the driver must perform operational checks, to verify that the vehicle is operating correctly. For the pre-operation inspection, start with checking the fluid levels. Make sure there is a proper amount of oil, water, and hydraulic fluid. Check for leaks, cracks, or other problems with cables, belts, and hydraulic hoses. Inspect the forks, backrest extension, and mast, for cracks, dents, or faulty welds. Make sure the retaining pins are in good condition. Examine the mast chain for defects and proper tension. Do not place your hands inside the mast. Use a stick or other device to check chain tension. Check the operator's compartment for dirt, grease, and debris. Make sure that the operator's manual is on the truck, and it is legible. The safety decals and data plate must be present, and readable. Don't forget to kick the tires, and make sure they are in good condition. Different types of forklifts will have their own unique inspection requirements. Electric, internal combustion, and liquid propane forklifts will all require checks on their fuel systems. Refer to the operator's manual for more detailed information. After the pre-operation inspection is complete, the driver should complete an operational inspection, with the engine running. This inspection should include checks of the accelerator, brakes, steering, drive control, tilt control, hoisting and lowering controls, horn, lights, safety devices, and any other items recommended by the owner's manual. Once these two inspections are completed, the forklift can be used for the day. If any problems are discovered, the vehicle must be removed from service until it can be repaired.